Hello, and welcome to this episode of Daily Dose of Dan, episode 37. Um, this is an update on health, actually. Um, I haven't updated in about a week or so, and uh, or uploaded, I mean. Uh, so anyway, uh, my health, uh, I've been getting sick a lot lately. I've been getting cellulitis in my legs, um, getting flus and colds and stuff. And so I'm going to try to start eating healthier cutting out a lot of sugar um, I need to lose some weight anyway um, so needless to say this last bout hit me hard um, I was had chills and feeling horrible and now I'm on antibiotics and all that good stuff so I just wanted to do a video update about my health and let you know that I'm starting to get back up on my feet again and try to uh, upload more videos now um, as you can see I got a new do um, I do plan on dying it, uh, here soon. I plan on dying it like a week or two ago, but health has not been between my wife getting sick and me getting sick and then me getting cellulitis, blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, it hasn't happened yet. I've got to die. I just haven't felt it. So anyway, I didn't want you guys to think that I was backing out on my agreement to dye my hair purple from the, uh, community vote. I wouldn't have put it out there if I wasn't willing to do it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, this last weekend, uh, my or actually yesterday, uh, I was feeling a little better, wanted to get out of the house, but didn't want to do a whole lot, you know, push myself back into being sick again. Uh, the antibiotics that I'm on are kicking my butt. So every time I take them, I go down and then, oh, look, I'm back up again and then take an antibiotic down again and up again. You know, it's all that fun. And I get to do that for like the least of the next week or two. So anyway, uh, we got to go see Shazam. And I'm not going to say too much here, but I will be doing a, <clears throat> a movie review on that. That will be my next video. But anyway, uh, we do plan to go see John Wick 4 here soon. Uh, from what I've heard from online about that is people are loving it, and it's like three hours long. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a person, there's some movies I don't mind uh, fighting the crowd to see. Uh, other movies, it's just too insane, and I'd rather see it. Um, there's, I'm not a big fan of people talking and making noise during the movie. It's really distracting, and with my misophonia, my ears pick right up on it, and it really distracts the movie-going experience for me. I like to enjoy it, you know, the way you're supposed to enjoy it. I know there's people, other people that like to talk and chit-chat, play on their phones while they're watching a the movie, and that's fine if you're going to do it at home. But you got to remember, other people paid tickets too to see this, so you got to respect what they want too, you know. So um, I really wish um, uh, when we went to see Shazam, someone had brought a little little kid, and there's a dramatic part, and the little kid is like, you know, talking, and the parents like, shh, 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 and the kid, the little kid obviously doesn't understand, you know. So it's not the little kid's fault; it's the parents' fault for bringing a little kid to a movie that they're not ready, they're not mature enough to go see a movie yet. I mean, if you want to take them to like a Disney cartoon or something, that's fine. But to take them to something that other adults are going to enjoy and teenagers and stuff, uh, just PG-13 kind of implies PG-13, not like little kids. And so it's really, and the thing is, is I think the parents only get partial blame. The the theater should take some blame too because they're kind of responsible to make sure everybody's happy not just to sell a ticket and I get it you know they're struggling and everything and they should they you know they're they're pressured but what's letting one little kid in or a family versus upsetting people and then they just don't come back you know they're not thinking long term they're thinking short term um, so there was that um, uh, I'm really cutting out soda out of my diet, pretty much, mostly. Um, what I discovered as I started, well, originally I wasn't going to drink soda at home at all. And my wife and I would only drink soda when we go out and about, go to the movies, you know, got popcorn and soda, right? Well, the theater we have, they have one size soda, like a 32-ounce soda. And I'm not really a soda guzzler, I'm a sipper. So by the time the movie gets over with, I have hardly drank any of my soda. And notoriously, over the years when we've gotten uh, sodas from theaters, the giant cups, 
it gets spilled in my car, and I hate that. So I, I always throw mine away. So I feel like, one, I'm really not getting my money's worth for the expensive soda, but two, <clears throat> I don't need that much sugar, <clears throat> to be honest. So I just tell my wife, if you want to get a soda, that's fine. I'll just take a couple sips off of yours, and I'll be good. Because obviously after you drink, or after you eat some salty popcorn, you're going to want to have to drink something to drink. <clears throat> and uh, so... Well, we and I'm, I have a hard time paying full price for a fountain pop because the mixture is off. Um, I prefer it, the flavor that, like I said, I sip and enjoy it. So if the mixture is off, I can tell. So what I realized was, my mostly my soda intake is when I go to friends and family's homes, and they they as politely they're like, "Oh, would you like a soda?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure. What do you have?" And I found that it's more of a social contract. It's like they're offering you something and you take it, you know, whether or not you need it or not. You, you accept it as part of the politeness of being a guest. And I don't plan on changing that because it is part of the social contract. Um, but I like soda. And, it, you know, most people do, but it's not overly good for you. So um, if I had to do my friend, Sean, he uh, um, raised a pretty good question about picking and choosing about what you like in sweets. Um, and I prefer like cakes and brownies and cookies and stuff like that. And even, even those I'm really starting to cut back on. Um, but if I had to choose between soda and one of those, I would always choose one of those. So I think about that sometimes when I'm craving a soda or looking to grab a soda, I'll be like, you know what? No, if I'm going to have a cake or a cookie or something later on or, with the after the meal or something it's like do i need both no i don't so that kind of thought process so i think this is a good part of the daily dose of dan to pause hit like and subscribe and the positive message of today is going to be tagged with that um we don't have to have everything in life um choosing to not take everything um I think there's something to be said for self-control and willpower, and I know it's hard, but in the long run, I think it's overly better for you. Um, so make those hard decisions, you know, like, you know what? No, I don't necessarily need fries with this. No, I, I was just hungry for a burger. Give me a glass of water. It'll save you some money in the long run, probably healthier for you too. So that's probably my lesson today is self-control, willpower. Uh, discipline so anyway tune in to my next daily episode of dan is going to be the review on shazam don't miss it it's going to be awesome